Just got back from my gigs this weekend in Germany, and I'm here at my studio in Miami, Florida. I'm going to take you guys inside. We're going to check out the studio and the new video for Let Loose. Let's go. When I was making Let Loose, I really wanted to make like a a party record, you know, something that people will really, you know, when they hear it, they just really feel what the song is saying, and they want to, they want to, they want to get on the dance floor, they want to party, they want to be with their friends, and I wanted to kind of bridge this gap between nightclubs and radio, and something, something, something you can hear over the radio as well, as, you know, as well in the club as, as in the club. I wanted it to, you know, go across all these platforms and I wanted a lot of people to really feel this song. There's a lot of different ways that I work in the studio, like sometimes I'll have already a bit of the vocal and I'll start building the track around it. Sometimes I'll have an idea for a track and I'll, I'll get into the studio and start really banging out a new track and I'll send it off to who, whichever vocalist I'm working with. Um, in the case of Let Loose, I had a bit of the vocal and I started uh, you know, just really building up the vibe of the song to it and we finished it off and it just everything just came out really right on it the track and, and the vocal really fit together really well and it really captured that that you know that party vibe that we were going for with the record yeah sometimes when i'm touring i'll be gone and playing like every day for like two three weeks or whatever and you know as soon as i land back here in miami i gotta get straight into the studio and to be honest, sometimes I really, you know, I don't have that drive to create music because I'm just so tired. Um, but, you know, I, I, might, I might relax for a day when I get back. But, you know, usually after I take that day to relax, I get in the second day. And, it, you know, once I turn, turn the music on and I start getting into it, it all comes back. And I forget about how tired I am and how much I've been traveling. And it all comes back and I get back into the vibe and I'm feeling it again. And it, it kind of all comes back. A lot of times in interviews, people ask me, you know, first, you know, is my passion or am I a DJ first or a producer first? And, you know, I always answer the question that, I, you know, I'm both. Now, I did start DJing before I started producing, but now it kind of works in a circle. It's like I, I DJ to get ideas for records and then I go into the studio and make the record and then I take them back out on tour to DJ with. So it's, it's this circle that keeps, you know, keeps going around that you know keeps this whole thing going and that's why I always say you know I'm I am a producer and I'm a DJ and the two feed each other let's go check out the video When we were thinking about a video for this song, Let Loose, it's like we really wanted to capture in the video the feeling of the song and like this really, this party spirit and like really having fun and letting loose. And we threw a lot of ideas around and we kept coming back to the, to the one idea that everybody was like, yeah, that's what we, we, we need to do a house party, like a basement party or in somebody's garage or their basement in their parents' house or something. You know, we all started thinking back to when we were in high school and the kind of parties we had and what people were doing and we just threw all these ideas together and we came up with this really cool concept to do this like raging house party. All kinds of crazy stuff was going on and the thing was it was like it was a real party. I mean we had real drinks and people were really like letting loose. It wasn't like it was set up. We were just like having a good time. I mean we had like this rabbit head. We had people jumping on trampolines. You know, at the end of the, the video, like somebody thought it'd be a good idea to write on my forehead. That wasn't even in the plan, but it happened, you know. <laughs> so it was just, it was just a crazy video. We had a lot of fun. We were really having fun, and I think it really came through on the video. People see that we're really, you know, letting loose. Mandy Ventrice, you know, our vocalist for this song, we, we thought, yeah, we wanted to do some, uh, you know, some shots, some cutaways from the party, you know, to put her in different environments. And somebody had this idea, the guys from Vid Atlantic, the guys who produced the video, were like, yeah, let's put her on this, uh, like this plexiglass up, up in the air, like she's just floating. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, cool. That might look good. And they built this, you know, this big platform and she's up on this glass, like eight feet in the air and just kind of floating up there. And it looked awesome. It cut in the video really well. I was really happy with it. They did a great job. 
Well, this one, like, you know, we, we had like a cast and a crew, but also I was like, look, if we're going to do this, um, I really got to get some of my friends, my real friends in there so we can really have a party. So like, I, I you know, I called up my good friends, the, you know, from back in school and got them to come up and they were the ones who really set the party off because I knew they would. And we just had a great time and it was just, it was a really good, you know, natural feeling. Like I said, we had a lot of fun. Of course, we did some shots where it was set up with the song, but as well, like a lot of the extra footage we got and a lot of the B-roll stuff is like me like really DJing and we really had a party. I mean, people were having a great time. Um, Mandy, the singer, we was having a great time. We were just really, we, we, we just threw down, we had a party. A lot of the people didn't know each other, but you know, by the end of this video shoot, everybody was like just talking and just having a great time. It was like, you know, as well as a good video, it was one of the best parties I've ever been at. Yeah, usually, you know, like when we're working on new tracks or we're writing or whatever, um, a lot of times we'll write it, the song, to, you know, a track that we're not even going to use in the end. And by the time the production is done, it sounds nothing like the first version. So usually after we're done writing the song um, to like a, like a beginning kind of track, I just throw that all out and I have the vocal there by itself and I just start building around it. I think that uh, when you build the music around the vocal, it just really kind of sits really well and it all works together like, you know, really well together. Um, so, you know, I have the vocal there, I'll usually start with just some drums or something. And then usually the first element I add is the bass line because the bass and the, and the drums working together is like the foundation of dance music and that's the most important part. And then you just start adding like the little embellishments, the chords, the little, little tricks here and there, noises, synths. But again, like the, the foundation is that, that kick drum and the bass that really drives dance music. I think it's a really exciting time for dance music right now because like um, the American R&B, urban and, and pop uh, industry is starting to really embrace what we've been doing. You know, we've been doing it for years, but now it's like hitting America again. And a lot of the big artists are, are coming to get like, you know, more of a dance sound. And it's, it's really looking good for our genre right now. Like I spend a lot of time between here in the States and the you know, Miami area and Europe. And it's really efficient to have a studio in both places. I can go back and forth. And I've been spending a lot more time here in the US. Of course, I'm from the US, um, but I'm spending a lot more time back here. A lot, a lot because the dancing is really starting to take off again here. I'm starting to play more in the States and tour more here. And um, yeah, it's really convenient to have like the two places, Europe and the US, bouncing back and forth between the two. When I'm in the studio and making music, it's like, you know, I'm always thinking about the people, you know, my fans and the people who listen to the music, the people on the dance floor. I know there's other artists and producers out there that kind of make their music uh, for the critics um, or for the press or whatever, but, you know, the, when, I'm, when I'm making my music, I'm thinking about my fans, I'm thinking about the people on the dance floor, how they'll react and how they're going to, you know, like, you know, what they're going to go for in the music. And that's my first, you know, concern when I'm when I'm making music. You know, the single we're talking about right now is "Let Loose," but that's going to be um, one of the singles off the album that I'm working on right now in the studio. Um, I've got a lot of different features. I'm working with a lot of different artists, um, some that I've worked with before, and a lot of new artists too that I've never worked with. I've got some uh, some really big names on the album as well. Some big name features. Some big American artists. Um, I can't really mention them yet, but you're going to see it on the album. It's been a lot of fun, and I'm wrapping it up in the studio right now. It's going to be out soon. So this is the studio. This is where I spend all my time. This is where it happens. I spend a lot of, t lot of time working really hard in here, but I also like to have fun in here, too. There's been a lot of crazy nights in this studio.